I came because my husband's niece told us about this church. And I have always been looking for a church. And Jimmy and I have always been looking for a church together. And I didn't like any of them. And she said, well, we have this fabulous church. So I came. Hi. I like these people. And it kept coming back. Oh, that was the other thing. I wanted a place where I could do relief work. And churches are the easiest place to do that. I went on a trip to Guatemala with a group of women. They told me that a little girl from Guatemala was coming to the Children's Inn at NIH for treatment. I found out that every morning the Children's Inn needed 80 treasures to fill the children's mailboxes. I brought this idea to CIB 15 years ago. And we're still doing these at table time. And here they are for this week. Aren't they cute? No, oh, I was Jewish coming up. I turned my back on Judaism when I was confirmed about age 16. And I never found my way back. And, uh, but always needed a spiritual connection. So I was looking for years and years and years. You can be anything you want. I can be a Jew. And I can be a baptized Christian. I don't give up anything to be here. I don't think anybody gives up anything to be here. There's Catholics, there's Muslims, there's, every, there's everything here. But you can be both. We're just looking for a way in the world. We're not looking for a dogma. Jimmy and I got married in this church during services. But Ryan is so special. I'm worried that we'll become a mega church because his sermons are so special. I don't want us to become a mega church, but I want him to have that kind of influence on the world because Ryan is a creative thinker. He says, I want to keep going the way we go, which was God tells us where we're supposed to be going. God made me come here today to sit here. I had no plans of coming here. So, that's the kind of place this is. You follow what you think God's telling you to do. And I believe that. You told me to believe, and I did.